here we are again back with Hive World in our bee demo yard. It's November the 1st and it's time to wrap our hives. We've got a little cooler weather and um, we're back showing you our hive that is on the hive scale. So about a month ago uh, we set the hive scale up with the hive ready for winter and it was 157 pounds and 0.72 and today we just measured it and we're down at 156.11 so approximately a pound and a half of stores has been used up since October the 1st. Today we're going to wrap the hive and insulate the top um, with directions to show you how to do it yourself. If you need supplies or a hive wrapping kit you can order one at hiveworld.ca but stay with us and we'll wrap up this hive ready for winter and we'll see it again in April. So, here I have six feet of black tar paper. I've stapled it up the back in a, in a row. And we're just bringing it up a little bit high so that we can access the bottom entrance in a couple of weeks to do our Varroa mite treatment. I'm gonna wrap it around the back, staple it at the back and then cut it down and fold it in and then we'll show you in the top. So the ventilation holes are open up into the upper ventilation box. We're going to put pink uh, we're going to put pink um, insulation in here, and the moisture is going to come up, come into the insulation, and then we're going to cut the black paper so that the so the, they're open to the outside to allow the air to move and for excess moisture to get out of the top of the hive. Okay, so here we have the upper ventilation box, which is ventilated um, up through the top of the hive with the ventilated inner cover. We'll put pink insulation in here and then it will help to reduce some of the heat loss, but then also provide a way out for excess moisture and to come outside and for the bees to breathe. Then we'll cut open the upper entrance here. We'll staple along the front of the bottom and then we'll put the mouse guard back on again. If you're looking for your upper entrance, 
if you push on the paper here like this, you can usually get it to push into the um, contours of the boxes and then use the cut carefully in the area you should find. And then just staple around it, stop the paper getting torn by the wind. Another piece of tar paper on top. And then the lid. Okay, that concludes our wrapping video. Important to put the mouse guard back on uh, in the front just to stop the mice going in the bottom entrance. But making it so that it can be removed because in a month or so we will come out here and show you how to treat them. Why do we wait for a month? It would be okay to do it now, but to get even increased efficacy. If we do it when there is no uh, brood at all in the hive, we remove 100% of the varroa. In the springtime, we'll show you how to check for mites. We have checked for mites here, and the bees would benefit from a acylic acid vaporizing treatment for varroa in about three to four weeks time. Usually sometime prior to Christmas, but you can do it after Christmas, uh, but make sure it's done prior to the end of January. That concludes our November video from Hive World. For more videos, more information, you can check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube at Hive World CA. And watch out for announcements for our new Edmonton retail store opening during November. Thank you. Thank you.